global warming seems impossible to halt. Over the last century, the Earth's average temperature has risen by 0.77 degrees Celsius. The era of global boiling has arrived. In recent years, forest fires have become increasingly common. The causes are various, but the IPCC indicates that some relate to climate change. I am surrounded by fire. In 2024, the surface area of forests incinerated in fires was 13.5 million hectares, the largest in recorded history. In Indonesia, 48% of the land is covered in forests. It also suffers forest fires that are among the most destructive in all of Asia. The soil of Indonesian peatland allows fires to spread underground even after the surface is extinguished. They persist for long periods, causing extended damage. In 2023, Indonesia's carbon dioxide emissions attributed to wildfires reached 210 million tons, the highest in all of Asia. In this episode, we assess the threat of Indonesia's frequent forest fires related to global warming. A research group in the United States has determined that in 2024, the area of land consumed by forest fires worldwide reached 13.5 million hectares. Over the last 25 years, the area has quintupled. In January of 2025, a series of wildfires menaced the Los Angeles metropolitan area. At least 29 people died, and more than 16,000 buildings were destroyed. Two months later, a forest fire occurred in the southeast region of South Korea. It was the country's largest fire in history, with at least 32 dead, and a surface area of 104,000 hectares, larger than the entire city of New York. Indonesia is located in the southern area of Southeast Asia. 48% of its land is covered by forests. Over the last 30 years, wildfires have been an increasingly frequent problem. In June 2019, the islands of Kalimantan and Sumatra were the site of major fires that raged on for nearly six months. 3.1 million hectares of land were consumed in the disaster a surface area greater than that of the entire nation of Belgium. The fires spread the most in mid-September. NASA identified these red points as regions where active fires broke out. As they reached various islands, the fires spread to around 90,000 locations. The risk of fires was exacerbated by the reduced rainfall and aridification. This graph shows the rainfall levels recorded from 2002 to 2022. When compared with the number of fires, it demonstrates that fires are more frequent during times of low rainfall. Especially large fires are known as mega fires. Indonesia is a frequent site of these disasters. Eleven percent of Indonesia's surface is covered in peatland. serves an important purpose by absorbing atmospheric CO2. Peatland is extremely moist soil, causing plant matter to accumulate in the earth without breaking down. During periods of reduced rainfall, that moisture escapes, leaving the plant matter packed within the now flammable soil. When anything causes it to ignite, the fires burn down into the earth and continue underground. If peat catches fire, it releases the absorbed CO2 back into the atmosphere. This is peatland shortly after a fire. Although it may appear safe, an infrared camera reveals intense heat where the fire continues within the soil. Lahan gambut akan menjadi bahan bakar yang cepat terbakar dan ketika dibakar atau terbakar, eh, lahan gambut akan menyebabkan kebakaran yang tidak terkontrol dan susah untuk dipadamkan. 
Not only do wildfires consume precious natural resources, the smoke pouring from them spreads harmful particles, causing major health risks. A 2019 fire in the Sumatran province of Riau brought about large-scale atmospheric pollution. The provincial government declared a state of emergency. According to the World Bank, in 2019 alone, over 900,000 people in Indonesia were given hospital treatment for pollution-related symptoms. Faber Christian Munti is a pulmonologist who treated patients that year. Dikarenakan asap yang kita ketahui tadi kandungan apa kadar karbon dioksidanya tinggi, karbon monoksidanya, gas metannya tinggi, itu juga menyebabkan inflamasi saluran nafas. Balia was among those treated for respiratory problems. Jadi ya itu tadi kan dia mulai bersin, bersin, bersin awalnya, terus gatal hidungnya sampai biasanya berdarah gitu. Jadi ada hidungnya berdarah sampai akhirnya apa sesak nafas yang benar-benar sampai ke asmanya kambuh sehingga harus ditangani dengan nebulizer yang menggunakan obat. With peatlands posing a constant risk of fire, avoiding the disasters has been an ongoing struggle in Indonesia. Japanese company Sumitomo Forestry has spent 16 years on an initiative to prevent drying there. They oversee 160,000 hectares of forest in West Kalimantan province. For five years, they study the details of peat there, including elevation differences and subterranean moisture. They use the data from their survey to build a highly accurate 3D map. To better control underground water, they dug irrigation ditches spanning the forest. Water flows from high ground to low ground through the broad trenches, spreading across the slopes through the narrower ones. By moving accumulated rainwater downstream, a sufficient level of water is stored underground. The key to this system comes in the form of small dams positioned throughout the trenches. The flowing water is stopped at the dams. Then, the floodgates are opened or closed to regulate moisture. Underground water levels are measured in 850 locations. Hollow pipes buried in the ground make this measurement possible without digging. Rods are placed inside to indicate the water level. They need to be kept suspended within 40 centimeters from ground level. The water positioning data is compiled and they judge the appropriate water levels. This allows them to understand which areas should have floodgates opened or closed, managing the water supply. The red area is the managed land. This data marks fires occurring in August 2023 with red dots and shows there have been almost no fires among the land. The frequency of forest fires is expected to increase by nearly 60% over the course of the century. Even if climate change can't be stopped, efforts continue to prevent fires, preserving as much of the forest as possible.